Hello and welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to uh, take you, show you the papers that I'm going to use in making my next design team journal for Studio 28E. This package is called the Fairy Daybook. Sorry, that's upside down. Nice pockets. Background paper. Let's try turning the whole package again. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. Stamps are beautiful. Now on to the journal. And here is the journal that I made out of Studio 28E Fairy Day Book. So this is a soft cover. Travelers, it's larger than a traveler's notebook size. It's held together by sari silk that is still shedding. So what this is, is I was, oh, it really is shedding. I was using or channeling my, um, oh my goodness, why can't I think of her name, uh, Art Amaze. So I used two sheets of um, quilted, quilt, quilting, an extra fabric that I have. And I, on this one, the bottom one, I just sewed too much, but I stamped on it. And on the top one, you can see the, um, quilting and you can see that the sorry six silk matches the quilting so I gessoed a little bit over it and then I did some stamping on it I um, went over and over again whether I would add something to the front cover or whether I would just leave it like this and I just left it if um, if some the person who gets this journal wants to add something to the front of it they can um, just using um, Fabric glue would work just fine. So it measures probably five and a quarter by eight and three quarters, and it has a oh, one and a quarter inch spine. And again, it wraps around and ties so that it's easy to carry with stuffs protected inside it. I have used, um, this is one of the first times I've done a traveler's notebook spine on it so that the inserts can come in and out. So the journal opens up this way. And the first thing I want to show you is if we go to the center of this signature and just take it out. So this is a journal book all on its own. It is five, five pamphlet stitch binding but it will fit right in there nicely and would allow someone to put extra paper in there. Now let me just check something here. I have a store-bought traveler's notebook beside me that I keep my notes in for my design team. So let me just see if it fits in here. Yep, so a store-bought traveler's notebook would fit in there so that once you've used the pages in the design team papers, you could add just two regular papers. So let me put this back where it belongs. All right, 
right, so this book begins with, again, we have the big pocket there, and then it has a tie that opens up. There is a pocket here, and these papers are all from the design team. A little bit of collage. And then there is a tag here. This tag has been backed, so there's cardstock underneath it, and it has been backed onto harder cardstock. And because I am a writer journaler, I always add these um, extra writing sheets. Those could be folded in half. I've folded them in thirds. You could fold it in half. This opens up here then, and you have another writing sheet using the papers, a pocket, and a collage. This opens up again. You have another pocket, a place to write, and another tag from the journal. Here I've taken um, the notes from the journal and I've made a collage on the front paper with lace and it is a writing pad. So it has one, two, three, four, five sheets of coffee dyed and the coffee dye has been um, acid neutralized. you can write write on as an independent writing sheet. Then on this side you have another tag pocket here and then you have a larger pocket here with some lace on it and again it is one of these writing sheets. And it opens this way and here you have another pocket, another tag from the kit, a little stamp from the kit. And here I've taken um, papers that can be ripped out and used within the journals to make your own, to decorate your own way. And I think there are what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine individual sheets of paper that can be used to make notes to rip out or to customize as you would wish the um, traveler's notebooks that are inside. We're going to immediately go to the back now. I'm going to flip over that. So the back has another one of these interactive flips and it flips open this way and we've got one, two, three, four pockets. We made this in one of my sit and chats. So this is a collage that goes in the top pocket. Oops, I'm getting into screen here. Sorry about that. And these are actually double pockets, so you could put something in the back here and then something in the front. So where I said it was one, two, three, four pockets, it's actually five, six, seven pockets. But I did not want to bulk the uh, journal up that much, so I didn't add. I've only added them in the first pocket. The kit comes with these whale tail tabs. And this one is a side tuck with a collage made from papers from the kit and two writing. This is from the eco dyed blueberry kit that Studio 28 has. I really enjoy using those papers. I use them in a lot of journals. So then that closes this way, and then it flips up this way. So I'm going to have to move you down a bit, getting caught here. So if I move it down here. So these are, these are
these little tabs here I got I the tutorial came from why can't I see it on my I think they might be G Kerr's um, I'll put a link to them they're they're really quite fun to make and easy to make so they just turn like that and then this collage flips open this way and you have another writing sheet and in here this pocket I have included all of the little pieces from the kit that I didn't use so there is lots of things in this kit that someone can customize and the pocket itself is made from the blue eco dyed paper and that just goes in there flips over this way and then these tabs come up and the words are from the kit and then this comes up like this and you have a pocket here and a big tag so now we'll go into the journal parts of this book so I used music sh uh, paper and made a ruffle and it goes down the side of some of the pages and all of these pages are from the kit There are two of the um, altered paper clips in this journal. Each signature has one altered paper clip. Oops, I'm trying to get two pieces of paper with it. With a piece of sari silk on it. Lots of space to write or to customize with what you want. So this was an envelope in the kit but I like these side flips to write on. Here is a banner that was in the kit. And a tag. A collage. The end of the first signature. The second altered paper clip. Another pocket. used another one of the little holders there and again I will link that below so there is um, the fairy day book it is let's let me get to my page here it has seven the first signature book here this one here has seven uh, sheets of paper folded in half creating 28 pages the second book has six pieces of paper folded in half creating 24 pages there are 15 16 tabs tags in it there are five unique writing sheets, 20 pockets, five flips, I did that, okay, right, sorry, I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing here, uh, two paper clips, one envelope, and again, the papers I used were from the Studio 28 E Designs Fairy Daybook, and her blueberry eco dyed kit number two.
So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. I had a lot of fun playing with my fabric and making the cover. And if it didn't have a knot in it there, it would go a lot better. I hope you go and check out Studio 28E. It is, um, she has a lot of nice, beautiful designs. Thank you very much and have a great day.